Hello everyone, welcome to today's Excel tutorial video. In this video, we'll be learning the use of double negative functions in Excel formulas. Now, some of us may have come across it in some Excel spreadsheets. It is a very useful functionality for advanced Excel users. Now, generally, Excel treats the true or false arguments as one and zero respectively. Now, the double negatives converts the true or false, that's what it does. It converts the true or false into the numeric equivalent, right? Which is one and zero, giving us the capabilities to carry out quicker and better analysis. Now, let us see how this works in practice. Here, I have a list of, I have a list of fruit names and I want to get the count of fruit with character lengths above six letters. Now, what most people will do is they will come to this cell here and then they're going to add a new column and they will use the learn function to do that. But let's see how the double negative can be used in this instance. We'll come to our cells E7 and we'll type in the formula. Here, I want to use the sum. I'll say equals to sum, open bracket. I'll put in my double negative, Le um, open my brackets, then I'll bring in my learn, then give it a range of my text close the brackets and I'll put in my criteria, which is greater than six. Then I'll close the brackets and close the brackets one more time. Now, once I hit enter, you can see the answer that we have 13 fruit names on our list with character length greater than six. Now to see how this works properly, we can go to the formula bar, click on evaluate formula, right? So we can see what's happening within our formula. Once we click our uh, evaluate, we're going to see that what our length does is at first it counts the length of the characters in each cell. Now, after counting it, it passes it, it checks it across our criteria, which then returns a series of false, true, true, false, true, true, false, false, and so on and so forth. Right now, what our double negative does is it converts all these false, true, false, true. It converts it into one and zero and returns it to our sum function, which then sums our ones to give us 13. Now, that is all about double negatives in Excel, fun uh, in Excel formulas. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you also got to learn how to use this in your formulas. Thank you.